All right, let's go ahead and get into it, Taurus. So first card that we have, we have the Two of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So right off the bat, there's a lot of confusion around a connection that you have with someone, a romantic connection, a friendship, a family relationship. There's some relationships in general. I don't feel like it's even just one. You could be confused in terms of where you stand with certain people. How do they truly feel about you? Uh, what's their energy? Especially if you're getting a lot of mixed signals from said people it could be leaving you very like i said confused because you're you're picking up on how this person or these people could be moving right um another thing that i'm seeing you're starting to ask yourself why are certain relationships that you have in your life so strained or where is that stemming from? You could have more emotional moments where some moments you're like, oh, I don't really care about the fact that this relationship isn't a thing anymore. And then other days you have moments where you're more emotional than usual. Uh, your emotions may be fluctuating because of the, the things around you, okay? Um, hmm. Hmm. There could be a lot of confusion also around some sort of business idea or partnership. Maybe you guys have a business agreement with someone and the details aren't really clear. And because of that, this could cause somebody to get in their feelings, either you or this person. So that's something you guys want to be careful of is having unclear business deals with people. Okay. We also have the lover's card in reverse and the the eight of swords, excuse me. So yeah, it, it feels like you're just not really vibing with the same people anymore. Maybe you don't really want to surround yourself with the same type of crowd or the same type of um, individuals. Okay, some of you guys are also going to be making some crucial choices in the near future to settle some sort of frustration you may have. So an example is you guys finally reach a point of deciding to do this, 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 and this based off of some sort of frustration with the marriage or with a relationship or with a, a business, whatever this is, you guys are going to reach some sort of decision in the near future that's going to clear up this frustration. This is kind of random. Some of you guys may be deciding to separate yourself from a relationship with someone where they're incarcerated or something, or their circumstances keep them very limited in terms of how they show up for you in this relationship. All right, I have the Sun card, the World card, Nine of Cups, and the Fool card. Okay. You guys could be hearing some really good news in the future about a long distance move. Maybe you're trying to move to a different state, a different part of the world. And you may have been worried on whether or not that move was going to be prosperous or that move was going to be a good move for you. And newsflash, you could be finding out as soon as you move, honestly, that this was the best decision for you. Because you, you'll be able to tell just by the energy that you feel by being in this new environment. Um, this may be giving you the opportunity to be more uplifted, happy, content with your situation. So yes, there could be a very prosperous move in the future for some of my Taurus here. Hmm. You could be finally taking action on things to like, take you a lot further An example maybe you have a business and it doesn't really have a website or it's not really set in stone like how it needs to be um with this energy it feels like maybe you're going to finally get a website or you're finally going to get this or get that to help your business function a little bit better okay you also may get some sort of wish fulfilled in the near future maybe this is a wish to have a conversation with someone again or it could be very specific to you, but something here is going to happen 
in the near future where a wish is fulfilled in some way. Okay, it's interesting. Uh, you could even be denying somebody an opportunity to get back with you because you could know that it's very risky to deal with this person again considering everything that you may have encountered in the past. So your intuition is going to be at an all-time high and I do see you guys turning down some sort of opportunity where this person is very like reckless in the way that they move. But anywho, let's go ahead and pull some more cards. Taurus. Okay, so we have snake. It says shed old skin. So this is speaking to letting go of older versions of yourself. Sometimes we feel like we need to cling on to versions of ourselves that we even were in because of the fact that we were going through trauma. We were going through certain experiences. So we have to show up a certain way. Um, even in ways that we don't really want to show up in, but we have to protect ourselves. We have to sometimes adopt roles that, like I said, aren't us. But with this, this is shedding old skin, show, shedding old perspectives, shedding old experiences, understanding that all those things have definitely taught you a lot of wisdom, but it doesn't have to be anything that you hold onto for dear life as a, a way of referencing um, struggle or like just clinging on to that struggle energy or old experiences, like I said. But the next card that I have, we also have Sh Shalowin, Master, Be Grateful in Movement and Action. Interesting. Or Be Graceful, not Be Grateful. Mm, so this is knowing how to handle things that are coming at you fast. I think in the near future, there could be some events that take place where things are just kind of coming at you left and right. I don't want to say bad things. I don't necessarily pick up bad things or even just solely good things, but things in general could be coming your way. People, opportunities. Okay. And what needs to happen is you need to be tempered in those scenarios. And not just acting off an of impulse. And not thinking your decisions all the way through as well. Now, last card. Taurus. Alright, last card we have says seasons embrace imminent change. So, yes. Another card of embracing shifts. And just like seasons... I think that you guys are in a different season as of right now. So it's calling for a different approach. It's calling for a different perspective. Also, Spirit wants you to know, just like seasons, you have people in your life for seasons as well. So if you are like stressed out or worried about any romantic situations that kind of go left, understand that everybody has their, their season in your life. For some people, they have several seasons, and other people, they may have one season, if that. But these are just some of the things that I see. I hope that you did enjoy this reading and that you did take something from it. If you did, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe so you never miss a beat in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, Taurus.